people and people that are getting affected by the cuts are just complaining far too much as I'm concerned. You know, I've worked hard, I've paid my taxes and I should have more as far as I'm concerned. I think the, uh, the poor have got to learn that they've got a place in the world and that's at the bottom, you know, that's just the way it goes. the bullshit collective and I thought uh, that sounds like a pretty cool collective to be in they're basically exposing the bullshit like just throwing back all the, all the Tory slogans back in their faces and just exposing them for the rubbish that they are really well it's May Day which is a workers day um, so we've come here so the public can make complaints um, about what the state of affairs and we also want to get staff in shops to make complaints about why they're even working on May Day. Like the whole thing's just a farce, it doesn't even mean anything anymore. Everyone's just got to work, 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 work. But people just work ridiculously long hours. Like, I know that May Day was originally about the struggle for the eight hour working day, but it's just ridiculous. People spend like, I think it's like 97,600 something hours of their lives in work. And what are we even working for? Because most people are really poor and can't afford the most basic things. So, I think if I ask that officer, if I ask uh, these people right here and tell them exactly why I'm out here and you know uh, my, my backstory and try to connect with them, then I think they'll find more common with me than with the people that own this place. The reason why a lot of people are out here today is because we see manifest contradictions in the system we live in, the world we live in. I'd say what needs to change is the uh, on abstract level priorities uh, that the government, that employers have uh, towards profit over workers. I think that's a fundamental, the core part of capitalism that, uh, which arises from that arises all the rest of the contradictions, that insatiable and that illogical uh, mechanism of profit. Companies like Topshop have been implicated in tax evasion, they've been implicated in using workfare labor, and those are two things we want to focus on today. Yeah, people are getting inside, people are coming outside. You were when you were still outside. I'm here to protest against companies like um, Top Man, owned by Philip Green, who are like massive tax dodgers who've dodged billions of pounds of pounds of taxes at a time when um, people are facing like the dismantling of their infrastructure, massive cuts in services, job losses, um, wages being lowered, benefits being cut. Um, and if organisations like this, Top Man and the Arcadia Group paid all their taxes, there would actually be no need for any cuts or austerity at all. So we're just trying to point out the fact that there's actually no need for cuts and this is actually you know, an attack on the ordinary people of this country um, just to basically keep the rich um, rich um, and that's why I'm here today. How do you think the world needs to change so that workers get that to feel? 
well, <laughs> capitalism needs to go, really. I don't think there's a kind capitalism. I think capitalism is based on injustice. You know, that's the kind of founding principle, really, of capitalism. I don't think there's a nice or caring brand of it. I think that's just a myth sold to us so that um, we retain the same system that, you know, actually is based on... Um, inequality and injustice so we need to get rid of capitalism and, and um, organize things in a way that is about um, benefiting everyone and the people is about fairness and justice.